specifically at Square Rock. So welcome. As my little sister Emily has very expertly introduced, we're at Square Rock in the ACT. And it's around about an hour or 45 minutes outside of Canberra. So we've driven out. This is our very last day here in Australia. We're going to get the coach back at midnight this evening. And then we fly out of Sydney at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. 6 o'clock, not 7. It's been an amazing trip. So we thought we'd come one last wander and Steve-O's just down there, Emily's there, my brother Jack's here as well. And we've come to Square Rock. First time for me flying a DJI Mavic. Pretty good, quite impressed. I would happily swap my Phantom for a Mavic, definitely. This is one of my father's favorite spots near Canberra, but sadly he's got to work today, so Emily has been our guide for the day. It really is an amazing spot though, fantastic views and uh, thankfully there's a nice breeze. It was quite warm walking up, it's around about 5 kilometres from the car park, so obviously 5 kilometres return uh, from here and yeah, thoroughly enjoyable. Nice sunshine for the last day here. This is a nice walk isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, very hard day, was, I was like sweating a lot. Oh, well, at least it's worth it for the great view. Yeah, it's a fantastic view. Yeah, but my hands are literally dead from climbing everywhere. <laughs> Especially going up and down my favourite spot. Which is your favourite spot? Okay, okay. Try and do this while I'm filming you. <laughs> then I just like to calm down. Yeah. Oh. Very shady and very cold as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was told that there's a leap of faith here, and that's quite a big drop down there. But it's higher at that end than it is at that end, so I jumped across and it's a bit of a hairy one getting back because it's quite a climb down to be able to get back up here. You can also get up as well. Can you go underneath there? I bet you can, can't you? Yeah. Oh, I can still go more. <laughs> Imagine if you were filming it. Oh. It's only a very small wonder, so we're going to make our way back. Jack's down there hiding. He Wave! Just, he wants to go back home. <laughs> so bad. We've managed to drag him away from the computer. He's loving it really. <laughs> as far as drones go, I was really impressed with the, the Mavic or the Mavic. It's quite windy out there today and it was borderline. I was wondering whether I should try it or not, but I know the Phantom can handle wind like that, so I was quite impressed, just did a few of the standard stuff, did a, uh, a fly around and uh, yeah, really impressed. I need to sell mine and get one, I really do. I don't think you've seen this the last minute, Jesus. That was the first one of the trip that we've seen on the trail as a snake. <laughs> We're almost back at the car now. All that's left to do is sign out of the logbook. 
That's a good thing really, you've got to sign in and out of the trail. I'm not quite sure how often the, uh, the book is checked, but you put group size and expected like date and time of return. Emily signed us out. <laughs> And we're back. It was a really enjoyable wander. I think it's about an hour in, an hour out, possibly a little bit longer on the way in, but thoroughly enjoyable. Thankful for, for the bit of uh, cloud cover on the way back. It's probably about 30 degrees, something like that, but it's quite humid as well. I think we're due some thunderstorms, which might look quite spectacular when we're on the way to Sydney later on. So, thanks for watching this series of videos in Australia. Normal service in the Peak District and back in the UK will resume after this one. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again very soon. Bye for now. Bye. Ah, I'm tired. Okay, I want to get back home and I'm very fast. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>